There I was, minding my own business, when suddenly I found myself back on the Celebrity Dress website. <laughs> Last time we got red carpet looks, these are all from our favorite movies. And don't go anywhere, because I'm saving the best for last. I feel like we had some wins last time, but we definitely had a couple misses. <laughs> Actually posted the Taylor Swift one over on TikTok and got absolutely roasted for thinking it was cute. <laughs> I'm not saying it was perfect, but I think they were a little harsh on it. <laughs> First dress that I was instantly very, very drawn to on this site is Hermione's Yule Ball dress from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I loved Harry Potter growing up. In fact, I was actually Hermione one year for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Why am I holding the broom like that? So here's the thing with this website. It's weird, everything is always on sale but sometimes the sales are better than others. Like I paid $2.19.99 for this dress, even though I probably could have waited and got it cheaper at another point in time. But I doubt it was ever the $479. Okay, here we go. Already, I haven't even opened it. It is like hot, hot pink. And her dress in the movie is more like a dusty pink, like a, a mauve, we'll see. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but her hair is kind of in like a little half up situation. Ah! <laughs> like you can still tell exactly what it's supposed to be. There are definitely more accurate ones on Etsy and it's a nice gradual ombre to the bottom. And this waist tie color is supposed to match the color of the bottom of the dress. And since that's not happening, it looks kind of funny. <laughs> Why didn't they just pick this pink? A lot of people are asking for it in periwinkle blue because apparently that's what the dress was in the book. But honestly, Honestly, it makes sense. Like Hermione is more of a blue girl. I mean, it's not the best quality in the world. There's already a couple stitches that are a little bit undone. I mentioned the Etsy dresses, but a lot of those are like seven, eight, hundred, a thousand dollars. This really isn't a bad option for a hundred bucks. Wait, well, I paid 200 for it, huh? Get it on sale. Okay, the next dress that I got is a dress that we all know and love. Literally, if you were to like ask anybody what is the most famous notable dress in the whole world, a lot of us think of this one. Marilyn Monroe's cute little white flowy dress. This one I feel like was a little expensive for what it is, 150 bucks. I wonder how much the original is worth though. Let's see if we can find it. <gasps> no. In 2014, the dress was sold for 4.6 million. Wait a second, this dress is actually from a movie? <laughs> I just kind of threw it into this video. This whole time I thought that was just like a photo shoot. 1955, a comedy romance. I think he just craved a little affection. You know, sense of being loved and needed and wanted. That's a very interesting point of view. Oh, do you feel the breeze from the Segway? doesn't it? Okay, let's see if this is any good. Okay. <gasps> I love it already. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I could not be happier with this. Look at the shape it's giving. Probably still could benefit from some of those like sticky things, but whoa. Oh, it's so cute. I don't really know what this tie thing is supposed to be doing, if it's supposed to go there or in the back, but. Okay, it's settled. This is Halloween for me this year. It, like I said, it was expensive for what it is, but I think it's way better than something you would get from like a Halloween costume site. This dress is actually very well done. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Okay, this next dress I think is probably the most popular dress on the whole site. There are loads of customer photos. I feel like all I would have to show you is this and you would just know. <laughs> Andy's dress from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, which is such a cute movie. They just don't make rom-coms like they used to. So I paid $129.99 for this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Taylor Swift one actually, but but I think this one might be better guys I think this one is a little more accurate. It's not just like a little bit more gold though <sighs> Let's see though cuz for me. It's all about the fit like we can use our imagination <laughs> Whoa. We can use our imagination a little bit on the color, but if the fit isn't right, we got issues. Okay, so this dress almost is perfect. It fits really well other than if it was like one size bigger just in the chest part, it would be so cute. I also feel like the back like almost isn't low enough. That's kind of like the whole wow factor of this dress. But I did notice in the comment section on a lot of the dresses, everyone was like, I wish the back wasn't so low. So I wonder if they're just taking that feedback. I think if it was more open though, it would give it 
the effect better. And then I did add my little diamond necklace. <laughs> I don't hate this one, but it's not my favorite. Well, if anyone has a smaller chest than me, and you want this for like Halloween or something, hit me up. <laughs> Coming at you with another 2000s clip. Was this 2000s or was it 90s? 1995! I didn't know this movie was that old. Oh no! It is Cher from Clueless's Lull Bodycon dress. What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. It looks like underwear. Go upstairs and put something over it. Yeah, I was just going to. <laughs> this one, this is another one that I think was way more expensive than it should have been. Paid $105 for this. Of course, they're trying to say that it's worth $246. No, no. I did not just pay $100 for this. Walk into any Forever 21 and you could probably find a dress exactly like this for 20 bucks. You know, we all make mistakes though. Let's see how it fits. I decided to spice this one up a little with a little body chain. <laughs> I mean, this one's accurate, but it's not like that would have been hard to pull off. It's just a basic white body dress. It kind of looks a little see-through, but it's not. There's just some like weird stitches on both sides of the chest. It's like the perfect length to replicate the one in the movie. Yeah, just maybe a little bit overpriced. I have had the hardest time zipping up these dresses by myself and so someone left me this comment on my last video like this. I thought the whole needing help zipping dresses was just a romantic thing in movies. I've always been able to zip up my own dresses and unzip them. I ask for help when I'm lazy, lol. Laundry, are you calling me lazy? Hi, I need help. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least. Were you even alive in 2010 if you weren't obsessed with Twilight in some way, shape, or form? <laughs> I read all the books. Like, I did the whole stay up till midnight and go to the bookstore to buy the books with my mom when they came out. <laughs> I liked the books a bit better than the movies, but I am, I, I agree with everybody. There is something just so, like, nostalgic and, like, comforting about watching the Twilight movies, <laughs> as cheesy as they are. Here we have the most expensive thing from this entire haul, <laughs> Bella's wedding dress. It was $259.99, which actually isn't that bad compared to like the Cardi B dress last time. That was the biggest waste of money. I finally ended up donating it. This is the only one to come with a little note. How nice. Oh, we got some extra buttons. How nice of them. At least I hope they're extra and it's not like a DIY bill that yourself dress. <laughs> okay, all right. This material feels not too bad. <gasps> Guys, wait a minute. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Listen, dry fruit. <laughs> the problem is there's not a hole on any of these zippers. They're like the tiniest. I'm sorry to lay down. Um, This is stunning though. Like it could use a good steam. It's funny that the buttons are just totally fake. They're just there for show. It zips all the way up. I think Bella just had her hair in like a low bun for this. <gasps> and then you know what we need. I have not actually pulled this out in years. That's my wedding dress. Okay, I don't know if it faded or if it was actually that cream. I literally don't remember. No wonder I like this Bella dress because mine had the buttons up the back too. Okay, that's not what we're here for though because Bella has like this beautiful long veil and so did I. Exact same thing that like clips. Oh, it's on. <gasps> yes. Oh, wow. Now this fits like perfect. The final look. <laughs> There it is, full length view. I would literally get married in this. Somebody please literally get married in this. <laughs> this dress is spoken for, by the way. Somebody actually literally wanted to get married in it, so. <laughs> Okay, I had to try this colon filter that TikTok has. I didn't know it would start to play that song so loud. Now the question is, which one of these are we gonna wear to the Cheesecake Factory tonight? <laughs> I don't know, this one just really felt like the right choice. Have my little shaved dog here to tell you guys, if you haven't seen the first celebrity dress video, make sure to go check that out. I'm gonna link that down below, as well as some other videos that I think you might enjoy. And Leo and I will see you guys over in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.